Hello everyone! In this episode I want to share five things I have realized after living a year as an immigrant in Georgia. For those uh, who saw my last video, I want to tell you we were able to leave Russia. If you want to see the video about how I live in Georgia, then subscribe to the channel. So, my top 5 after living uh, one year as an immigrant. Let's go! Everyone has their way of immigration and it all depends on the people of which you meet in this way. I don't think it's right to draw a conclusion about living in another country based on other people's experience. I did the same things myself. I watched someone's video where they talking about how they lived, what kind of people they were surrounded by and how they felt good or bad. And I always touch uh, I will the same experience. No. No at all. This may be true for the studies in some place. You watch how a person learns in some university or work in uh, some office. And here, yes, uh, we can compare. And very cautiously. But in the things that are considered a full life in a foreign country is not. First of all, we are all different. Secondly, everyone has their way. And while the paths may be very similar in office or university, in the life it is not. There are too many variables. A lot depends on the people you meet and uh, build relationship with. And two different people in the same city can have different experience. I think I was lucky. I met a lot of good people, some of whom I became quite close to. There are locals uh, and other immigrants from Ukraine, Belarus uh, and Russia. And it is the relationship with these people uh, that give me experience I have. When you live uh, in a familiar society for a long time, you get a sense of security. And it's very cozy. You get the impressions uh, that you are in control. When you immigrate, <laughs> that illusion disappears. You realize that you control a quite a bit in your life. And that, in my opinion, is reality. We have very little control in reality. When we first come to Georgia, at first I felt much safer than in Russia. But here it's, it's about the hospitality of Georgians and their kindness. After a couple of months I began to feel that I had little control over things. That it was difficult for me to anticipate the behavior of people in the environment unknown to me and with a language unknown to me. It was disturbing to discover this, but helpful on the other hand. It made life a little easier for me. I came to the idea that I was doing as well as I could at the moment. And then, as it turned out, this reduced the level of self-criticism. And out of that come to the realization that comes next. If you have little control over things, you don't know when things will change. And since that's the case, you shouldn't put off things and desires for later. Yes, I know, there can be more complicated things behind procrastination. But I'm not talking about procrastination or inner criticism right now, no. I'm talking specifically about when you put something off because it's not the right time. Or because you need to get a little better at it. 
or about a purchase that's too expensive and doesn't make sense. It's better to wait for the right moment. Bullshit. You are already good enough and can do as well as you can. You don't have to wait for the best moment. You don't know what will happen to you tomorrow. Do it now. Don't put it off. I have lived uh, most of my life in Northwest Russia, St. Petersburg. I have never lived in a subtropical climate in winter, and I doubt that if it is plus 15 Celsius in winter, it is very warm. We have such temperatures in summer. How wrong I was. <laughs> it's not like that at all. The fact uh, is that they do not insulate their houses like people who live in the north. They often don't have uh, central heating. Yes, you can walk around in a fall jacket and you will be comfortable outside, but not in the house. In the house has a cold bed and lots of warm clothes waiting for you. The house can be drafty and the houses are poorly designed in terms of keeping you warm. And it's probably okay when you only get snow once a year, but this is was a surprise to me. A year ago I got pretty tired of Metropolis. At first there was a Covid and we didn't leave the apartment. Then I bought a car and was always spending a lot of time and traffic in the city. It all tired me out and I dreamed of living in the suburbs of a small town. And at first it was just amazing to me. I was thrilled. You know all the neighbors. You have clean air and birdsong in the morning. The quiet in the evening. You can drive the whole town in 20 minutes by car. But after the year I realized it. I was tired of it. Yes, we had a good rest this year, we had a lot of energy. Maybe when I'm older I want to live in such place and with the such rhythm of life. But right now I don't. Right now I want to go to a metropolis. I want a large number of people around me. I want a big city with thousands of opportunities. I want a different rhythm of life. See you soon. Bye.